Hello, my name is Ryan Shipwash, and I will be discussing the task that I had during Sprint 2 for GDP. Um, I was tasked with uh, adding a confirmation for the quit game. Um, if you are wanting to quit or not, uh, change the uh, menu font to uh, something more legible. Um, I changed the credits UI as well to match that and just increase the speed of it to make it more legible. Um, I also, um, you can also adjust the in-game audio now, so you can pause and open that up. Um, also, the interacting with the uh, menu uh, is a lot easier and uh, more fluid. Um, I increased this, uh, I, had, I was tasked with the uh, splash screen and uh, the avatar UI visuals. So let's open up the review build. Open this up, let's start. Uh, as you can see, the splash screen stays on the screen a little bit longer. Uh, brings you to the front, uh, to the main menu. You're able to, uh, as you can see, the main menu has the, a colored background for each button hovered over. Um, you can choose level select. Um, you can choose options, credits. As you can see, the credits are a little bit faster, so you can see uh, who has worked on the project. Let's return. Uh, we'll go to options. Uh, we have uh, the sliders here. You can increase the, the sound effects, which we'll do that in the game. Um, the game music, we can turn that down. It's set at default to be lower. If the player wants to have it up higher, they can go higher on it. Um, have a list of controls. Um, it is uh, the, the font is more legible. Uh, we'll go to return, return. Um, we'll go to uh, level select. Let's go to the toy box so we can demonstrate the pause menu. So you can push escape or you could push P. Um, you can also push escape or P to exit that as well and resume the game. Um, on here we have the options, uh, which you can set the sound effects here. Um, that, uh, and then you can also view your controls here as well. Uh, so let's return. Let's go, uh, and one, if you push quit, it brings you a splash screen that says yes or no for quitting. We'll say no for right now. We'll. Uh, Try it in a little bit. You can hit main menu and I'll take you back to the very main menu. Resume. Uh, the avatar UI, uh, as you can see, the, uh, we have a mini map on the bottom right hand corner uh, with the border. The top right hand corner is for the spray cans collected, the collectibles uh, being connected, collected, and uh, it uh, populates that. And then the health bar at the top left hand corner demonstrates how much health you have left uh, when engaging with enemies. Um, When you fight with the enemies, uh, once they kill you, when they do, see if they'll do this pretty quick. And right here, the player dies, uh, gives you the respawn menu. You can also go to the menu or you can go to quit. Um, let's go to the main menu again. Overall, this is the the, the first level. Um, you can push, um, we have the music in the background. We'll go ahead and turn that down so we can demonstrate that. Sound effects, uh, let's go to the um, first portion of this with the lock box. You have, it is a decent amount of sound. Let's turn this all the way up, see how loud it gets. So let's turn that back down to where it was. Okay, there we go. That's a lot better. Um, we'll go ahead and go to main menu. Come back to the main menu. Then we will, as you can hear, uh, also every time you click on a button, it gives you a prompt of a noise saying that you clicked on it. Um, are you sure you want to quit? Yes, let's go ahead and quit. Um, that completes uh, what I was tasked with. Uh, thank you for watching.